and welcome back to my channel. So today I decided that I have a lot of highlighters and then that made me want to review them all. So I have everywhere from high-end to drugstore, from um, powder to liquid to my very first one to newer ones that I've owned and just recently purchased. So I thought we'd get started with liquids because I don't have a lot of them, but I have a couple. We'll do the Silver Stroper. I don't know if anyone's ever used these, but I actually got this because of a MAC uh, highlighter I did buy, which I will be swatching that in this video. And this is what I would use for a base, and then I would put it down. Let's see, just look at that. It's real faint. But once you put a powder on top of it, it's beautiful. There's no denying that at all. It, it's just, it's beautiful. And then the Cover FX one I got a sample of. I don't think it has the name on here. But I think it's the, oh yeah it does. It's Moonlight. So, of course there's Moonlight. It has like a gold tint to it. And then the next two I got are from Makeup. <clears throat> Revolution um, Unicorn one and I got the Champagne one and, um, and of course so here's the Unicorn and then here's the Champagne um, as you can see the Champagne's a more champagne -y, and then the Cover Effects Moonlight has more of like a bronze tint to it uh, the Unicorn is more iridescent which I don't mind. I actually like that. But then again, drugstore first, then hop into high end. Um, so True Match Lumi Glow. And it comes in the packaging like this. And then looks like this. Um, it has four colors. It has like a purple, a peach, a blue, and it looks kind of like a green. And I'm actually wearing it today. Um, it's real subtle, which I actually like that for when I don't want a real intense highlight, which is a rare thing, but I do like that. And then I got the, which I reviewed this already. I'll just have to get that video up. If it's not already up. The Master Chrome, and I got it in the Rose Gold shade. Beautiful shade. I highly recommend these. If you want some drugstore, I highly recommend these. These are good. And then I have these, um... NYX Dual Chrome ones, and I don't know, I can't remember too many people talking about these, but I have very, I have several shades. I have Crushed Bloom, which is right here, and I'll swatch these for you guys. I have Lavender Steel, which is right here, and my favorite, which I love using as an eyeshadow, is synth Synthetic. I'll leave the names down below in case I'm mispronouncing these. And I like these because they're kind of rough. Kind of rough. And then the next ones are from Wet n Wild that I have. And if you guys hear crinkling, it's from getting a wipe. To wipe off all my fingers and stuff. Um, the next ones I have are from Wet n Wild. And I have four Wet n Wild ones. And the first one, which was the very first one highlighter I ever bought from them was was is the is the precious petals one and it looks like this then the next one I have is royal clicks and this was out at Halloween and bonic dream I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right but these are really pretty as well I'll swatch all of them the only thing I have noticed is the two newer ones that came out seem just a little harsh. Like they're a little rougher than the first one that I ever bought. So I don't know if they changed the formula or what they've done. But here they are. And they're just... I mean they're, they're pigmented when you really, really, really build them up. But 
if you want something kind of subtle, those are something to go with as well. And then you can just build up the intensity that you want. Of course, if you spray it with Fix Plus or anything like that, that always works really well too. Then the last one I did get, which I just thought this was just cute. I mainly bought it because it was cute, but it is the rainbow. And I thought this was so cool. First highlighter I ever bought which kind of started the whole collection is from Anastasia and I believe it was Hollywood and it looks like this and this is the very very first one I ever bought and this is kind of what started everything and I'll swatch it if you guys have never seen it but this is how the highlighter phenomenon that I have got started. I really like that. And then we'll just stick with the group, Anastasia. I don't have everything. Um, I also became kind of a collector, which kind of bums me out because I don't have all her glow kits. And I really, really wish I would have started buying them early so I had everything from the beginning to now. Um, and I don't. So, I do have the Aurora palette, which if you see my Jeffree Star highlighter um, video and everything, that will be in there. But I do have the Aurora palette. And I also have the Moonchild palette. And this palette has been very well loved. The Aurora has been loved as well, just not as much. It's not as heavily damaged, but I do like the Aurora. I like these because they're smaller. And then I have the Sun Dipped Glow Kit, which I've gotten into a little bit. Like, this shade and this shade are just a little too dark for me. Like, let's just be real, they're way too dark for me. But they look beautiful on as eyeshadows. Uh, Moonstone is my favorite. I do really like Moonstone. Summer I've worn a couple times in the summer, but it's pretty too. And I really do enjoy the Glow Kit Sugar. And I know this is the newest one, and I love this Glow Kit. Um, my favorite is Starburst and Marshmallow. Those are my favorite. And Marshmallow's here, and then Starburst is here. Two favorite ones. Um, I do have, like, yeah, I have two Max. I had to read the other one. So, I have this one in Soft Frost when it very, when these first launched. And it looks like this. And it has a uh, reflex in it. Which I will swatch for you guys so you can really see that reflex. And let's see if you can see it kind of on my finger. Yeah, see that? It's got like a purple. We'll just, boop. Like, it's pretty. That's what I put the strobe cream down for, and then I do that. Then the next one, I this is the, the uh, Oh My Passion, and it's a pearl matte face powder. And believe it or not, when I scrolled all this together, which, yeah, I was that person that ruined the print. I actually really liked this. It's kind of like a blush, but if I used it light enough, it would be a pretty highlight, too. So I count that kind of as a highlighter as well. Just for the simple fact that if you don't mix them all together and you can use kind of like some of the other colors, it's like a blush. So I Smashbox, I have the Spotlight Palette from that Casey Holmes. And I have the light shade. I have the Pearl. Love this. If uh, you haven't seen these swatched, I will swatch these for you. So here they are in my hand. And then we'll just... Like, just look at that highlight. I love these. Uh, I use this all the time to highlight with. I'm actually really surprised I have not hit pan yet because I'm constantly using it. Um, which will be sad if they ever discontinue this. That will be extremely sad. Uh, the next one I have, which is like my super duper, uber high end, and that is my Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick. Um, I got it in Rose. And... I have put like a little bit of a dent into it. I only own one of these because my Von Mar starts selling Bobbi Brown. So I went in and fell in love with it and then just bought that one. Which, yeah, I only have the one. I only have the one. The 
other single like little thing I have is from the bomb and it's hot mama which everyone says is a dupe for Nars's orgasm I just bought this little guy I liked it and I like how it's vintage I like vintage stuff so I picked that up and then I have the sweet peach glow and I know this was not a big hit with everybody I mean it smells like peaches I not gonna happen and then the last, not last, but the next uh, brand I'm going to go over is Becca Cosmetics. And I'm trying to look here. Becca Cosmetics is one of those things. And it's, it's basically a cream. I don't really know how I feel about it. I've never really used it. But, I mean... It's pretty. Don't get me wrong. It's pretty. It's just not super intense. And then, of course, I have the powder version of Opal. Which I'm trying to open. I have the powder version of Opal. I have the infamous Jaclyn Hills Champagne Pop. But I have it in, like, the limited edition special print one. So, I try not to dig too much into it because I really do like it. And then I have the... Becca uh, Lilac. I actually want to get all the newer stuff that's coming out. Which is like... I don't know. I think they're named like Amethyst. Since I think they're named after stones. But the Lilac... I really do enjoy. Like you have to kind of use it sparingly. Because it will come out purple on you. So you got to be careful. But it's pretty. I do like that too. The next ones that we're going to look into are two of my newest out of my whole entire collection. And that's the um, Artiste Couture. And I just got these for Christmas. I have the, I have Coco Bling and Lickable. Lickable I got mainly because I think it would be beautiful on the lid. Not going to lie. It is phenomenal of a color but I can't wear it as a highlight because I'm too fair and lickable is right there here let me get a little bit of a better swatch because you really can't tell okay so there's lickable see how tinted that is I mean you could probably blend it out but I think it's just going to show up too much on my skin. But as an eyeshadow, oh, oh, I think it'd be beautiful. And then Coco Bling is one I wear often. Coco Bling, if I remember correctly, Coco Bling is the one like everybody wanted. And it sold out like that. Like you could never get it. And I kind of gave up there for a while. And then I was like, oh, he's having a sale. And then I'm like. Oh, Coco Bling's in. So I just bought it. And then Coco Bling is right here. And I think it would be beautiful. Look at that. That's Coco Bling. That would, that's stunning on fair skin. Absolutely stunning. Inner corner highlight. Awesome. Throw it all over your body. That's even better. So I really do like Coco Bling. Uh, that is Jeffree Star. I do not own every highlighter from Jeffree Star, but I own a good majority of them. So, I have the Platinum Ice and the 24 Karat. I have both of them. Now, if you watch my other video, I did a lot of comparisons with them. Um, because there was a lot of hype that some of them were duplicates and replicas and basically dupes and stuff. Everything that you buy you may buy a duplicate in it's all about the formula so even though i have the aurora and the moonchild palette and more it's all about formula and that is like the one of the biggest things for it it's just formula so uh if you haven't seen these yet or you haven't watched my other video yet here it is it's 24 karat in the platinum and then of course i have Gotta get them all. The big old pink highlighters. I mean, these suckers are huge. Like, that's in my hand. They're big. 
Um, I have, let me get a doper. I have Princess Cut, which if you've never seen is a nice light pink, which I love. The next one I have is Regina George. And this is a darker pink, which I have used this on my lids plenty of times. <laughs> it's beautiful as a lid color because it's pink. Then, of course, I have the newer, um, some of the other collections, like his collaborations. And I have Nefri right here. I have a uh, Deep Freeze, which is a blue. This was the very first one I ever bought. This was it right here. Um, I love blue and I loved this. So that was the first one I ever bought. The next one I bought after that, that kind of got that whole thing started was mint condition and it's a green, which again is beautiful on the lid. And then I have the two from his summer collection and that's uh, crystal ball, which is a stunning, nice, it's like an ice color. Like oh God. it's not white, but it's just icy. And then um, Summer Snow Cone. Which is a yellow. Like a goldish yellow. And then I have the two from his, him and Manny collabing. And the first one I'm going to show you is Uranus. If I can get it open. This one's kind of hard to get open. There we go. Like. And the first one that he came out, which is Eclipse. This one I've worn quite a bit. You can't tell, but I have. So, yeah, guys, that's all my highlighters. Um, if you have any recommendations for me on highlighters that I need to try, be it high-end or drugstore, leave it comment down below. I will have everything listed down below that I have mentioned or that I own. <clears throat> and... Um, um, so yeah, if you like this, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. You can follow me on Instagram. I try to post as much as I can on Instagram. I'm getting into Twitter. Um, but yeah, other than that, bye.